Hey there guys, we know here and welcome to the first of the return of Let's Sit Down With. Um, I am on solo adventures right now, uh, as was the new format we discussed, but welcome to the house on Holland Hill. Uh, this was a game recommended to me, so we are going to be sitting down with it and playing it and seeing what we can uncover. Um, I chose it, though, based on a October recommendation, so I don't know if this game is going to get spooky or not. We'll see. Okay, we're just in it to win it. Use wads to walk, shift to run, and look around. Ring the doorbell, wait for an answer. Use E to interact with things. What about my pizza scooter? Thank you. I like glide forward. Delivered by Luigi. Is my name Luigi? I'm back at a boat, but there. Okay. Pizza and beer. Easy peasy. Should I just open the door? Should I look in like a weirdo? Hello? I mean, if I was actually a delivery driver, I'd probably just leave it here, but, you know, it's not my business, you know. Pizza. This is taking a long time. Is it already spooky? Is anyone even home? Hello? Okay, no delivery driver would just... Would just go inside. Yeah, bad idea, Luigi. Luigi, I'm in the cellar. Who? Thank God you're here. We have to get out of here. Come on. Why? <laughs> I was just delivering a pizza. Was that a flash forward? I'm guessing. Oh, yes. Pizza extra sauce. Don't tell me you guys charge for extra sauce. Oh, hey. Pizza guy? No, freaking mover, dude. Hey, I'm right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> just testing it out just following the steps you know yes here you go man just moved in huh I can see that you just moved in what gave it away the moving truck nope <laughs> so uh, if I was a delivery driver I would not pry this much into somebody's life I would just say well enjoy and I would be off but should I do it for narrative sake? Sure, let's do it for narrative sake. This house is new, right? I mean, they just built it. We did, actually, yes. Really? That's cool, man. Must have been a lot of work, huh? Well, to be honest, when I say built, I mean designed. My wife's the architect. Oh, okay, awesome, man. Do you do do you work with buildings too? Oh, nothing quite as glamorous. I'm just a finance guy. <laughs> Speaking of which, what do I owe you? 52.50. Why would I lie about that? There you go, man. Hey, Callum, can you give me a hand? Is Bowser here? <laughs> Just a second, dear. I'm paying the pizza guy. Thanks. My pleasure. Excuse me. Can I be a creeper? No way. <laughs> Just press my face against the glass like... <sighs> Are you enjoying your pizza? It'd be great if you could just like keep ringing it and annoy the shit out of them. The crazy pizza man won't go away. Just ignore him, dear. Delivery too. Look, we're already getting the hang of this. Pizza and a salad. Who went on a diet? Ah, oh, the pizza's here, Callum. Callum? Callum? Hey, we're over here. <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, going through the motions. 
Perfect timing, thank you. I gotta say, the pizzas were delicious last time. Thank you, ma'am. I'll let the chef know. Enjoy your meal. So, what y'all doing? Enjoy the food, Mr. Breckenridge. Thanks. Enjoy your meal, madam. Thank you. Hey, where are you going? Oh, sorry. That was... Being a gamer, you know, we like to explore things. Okay, you know, just... Just gotta give it a couple of love taps before I go. You guys got anything down the road from you? Can I explore your garage? Is this creepy yet? Nice car. I can like... Look, now it just turns into a whole different game. Like, we're suddenly playing Minecraft. Let me just punch some trees. Is there any point to exploring so much about their house? I can kind of see into their bedroom. That's gross and awesome all at the same time. Let's get out of here. Delivery three. We are already making money like honeys. Three beers? Who's got the drinking problem? Why is the music like way more ominous? Oh, hello. Hey. I've got your pizza. Super. Um. Uh, are you doing okay? It's, it's fine. Thanks. Here you go. Mr. Breckenridge, what's wrong? Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> odd. Very odd. Is there anything else for me to observe here? Distinguish? Nothing going on in the bedroom, you know what I mean? <clears throat> hey, Mr. Breckenridge, just checking out your landscaping. Everything looks great. <laughs> your lawn uh, needs mowing. Uh, lawn? Hills? You live on a hill, in case you weren't aware. Bye. Uh, what happened? Why is he all... Oh my god, a pizza and three beers again. Who's got the drinking problem? Buddy! Wow! There you go, man. Your pizza. Thanks. Excuse me? That's not how these exchanges go. Mr. Breckenridge! Let me in. Let me in. All right, fine. We'll go and do other things. We'll be back. He'll order three more beers. Yup. Called it. My man's depressed as fuck. Oh, wow. Getting handsomer as the days go on. Ah, uh, food. Thanks. Yeah, enjoy it. Don't. Okay. He's shutting me out. He's super depressed. All right. One day, Mr. Breckenridge, I'll break your ass. And not in the kind of way that that implies. What the fuck? Capsalon? Baba da booba day, we don't serve at the cave salon. Oh my god, dude, you are getting more naked as the days go on, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. Hey man, um, shouldn't you. Don't you. 
every time I take my fucking hand off the keyboard. I'm going to sneak into your house one of these days, Mr. Breckenridge. I'm going to chew your ass. And not in the way that that actually literally implies. Delivery 7. We're getting somewhere. Two pizzas and a salad. Something's changed. The same rain. Whoa. Yes. Hey, uh, pizza? Oh, great. How much is it? Sixteen fifty. Okay, hang on. Who are you, the new woman? Can I come in? Hey, don't mind me. I finally made it into your house, you sack of shit. Hey. Hey, I have the money. Oh, uh... Sorry. I got an achievement called overstepping it. Thanks, I'm glad Mr. Beckenridge is looking better. Oh, you know him? Uh... Well, I deliver here sometimes. He wasn't looking too good back then. I know, so sad what happened, right? He never told me what happened. Uh, what exactly? Oh, I don't know if it's my place to say. You son of a bitch. His wife, I guess? Yeah, she died, and after finally completing this amazing house. Anyways, I shouldn't talk about this. I'm just the maid. You're the maid? Right, right. Well, here you go. Have a nice night. Luigi, was it? You got it. Thanks. You too. Question mark? Rosalind. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. We're going full Abed now. Hey, uh, do you mind if I, like, explore your house, Mr. Breckenridge? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, like, uh, make myself at home, make some toast, maybe. Maybe make my own pizza here, you know what I'm saying? What is with my haircut? What kind of haircut do I have? Hey, going into basement, Mr. Breckenridge, what you got down here? I'm just, uh, oh, you know, slightly overstepping my boundaries just a little bit. Um, okay, I'll leave. You son of a bitch. You never told me. Uh, bye. <laughs> no self-serving pizza man would ever stand outside someone's window and just watch them after every delivery. Except me. Pizza donor? Pizza donor? Pizza donger and a guy rose about. <laughs> no guy rose. Guy rose of the storm. Come on. It's raining. Oh, hey. Luigi, how are you? You're finally looking like your old self, Mr. Breckenridge. Thank you. Yes, I, I feel quite well. It's good to see you again, friend. Sorry, what was your name again? La squeegee, Mr. Breckenridge. I've been in your house. I've been to your house. I've lo I've looked out your windows. Mr. Callum? It's been a cold night, huh, Luigi? You want a whiskey? Oh, well, I know you're having fun, but I'm still working. Of course, anyways. Thanks, Luigi. Here you go. Okay, well, I'm off. Yeah, the food smells good right now. Oh, you want some? Oh no, you ordered it. You enjoy it. Nonsense. There's plenty. I can't let you go home famished. Stay and have a bite at least. Okay, well, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, here you go. Sorry. Have a good night, Luigi. You too, Mr. Callum. I've like, I've assessed your landscaping too. She's staring at me, just like, is this creepy delivery guy ever leave? Nope. 
I am always going to be looking in the windows after every pizza I drop off at your door. Or Gyro's box. Hero's box. Pasta pesto, mac and cheese, Ben and Jerry's. Someone's getting fat. Is this a horror game? Or am I playing Honey Pop 3? Excuse me? How creepy can we get? Let's investigate these noises. <laughs> they must be uh, practicing some, uh, you know, uh, some Karma Sutra. <laughs> I'm an expert myself with uh, Calzone style. Sorry to interrupt. Pull it out. Get your ass over here. Pay for this damn pasta. Rosalinda! Okay. Here's your food, Mr. Callum. Thanks, buddy. Here you go. Keep the change. Have a real good night, Mr. Callum. Hope you don't need to change your sheets or anything. Delivery number 10. Spaghetti and salad. Someone's getting middle of the road. Can I look in first? Oh. <laughs> I did things out of order. The system's flawed. Hello. Got another delivery for you. That was fast. Thanks, Luigi. Not as fast as Mr. Callum. Yeah, the order was a little different than usual. Yep, I'm here by myself tonight. I'm not sure where Callum went, actually. But he left me dinner money. Good for you. Well, bon appetito then, miss. Thanks, do you have more deliveries to do tonight? No, actually, this is the last one on my shift. Oh, well, hey, the news said the storm is going to get worse soon. Do you want to come inside and chill for a bit? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Netflix and chill? Sure, thanks. Let's uh, investigate a little bit more. Is Mr. Callum a two-pump chump? Yeah, no problem. Just don't touch anything. Okay. I'm kidding. Come on in. Of course. Put the food on the table, left the money there too. Close the door. Of course, of course, of course. I'll make myself at home. I've been meaning to get in Mr. Callum's place for ages. Man, it's weird to be inside this house for a change. Besides, you know, that one time when I broke in. Yeah, I bet. Would you like a drink? Uh... Is a beer okay? We'll be adults. Sure, but only one. Okay. You still have to drive that scooter, and I don't want to find you wrapped around a tree tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not if I'm wrapped around Mr. Callum's tree. I can manage it, miss. I promise. As we're drinking and drinking and smoking, smoking and drinking, and thanks. Uh. How'd you end up here? What's it like living here? Aren't you hungry? Uh, aren't you hungry? Oh, don't worry about it. It'll still be there in five minutes. You seem a little nervous, Luigi. Is everything okay? Sure, sure. It's just the first time I've been invited into a customer's house, you know? I'm still not sure if this is just super chill or if I'm going to get ritually sacrificed in a minute. Mostly the former, I hope. Might decide to do the latter if you turn out to be a jerk. No, oh, well, you know, I can go for a good sacrificing. Um, so how'd you end up here? In this house or like in this situation in my life? Uh, I was 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> well, gosh, it's a long story. It all started in 1862. I thought it'd be a great idea to study law. And so did half the country. So finding a job hasn't exactly been easy. I don't think that was a noise of solidarity. So after college, I've been doing a bunch of odd jobs. And through circumstances, I ended up cleaning the house from... Don't ask me why. It's not that great at cleaning, but I guess it's like stimulating conversations. That must be it. So yeah, after Luis died, <laughs> that was Callum's wife. I got this house as my assignment. And I guess I just sort of stuck around. Oh, I'm sure something stuck somewhere. Alright, don't look at me like that. I wasn't saying nothing. I was just thinking about Mr. Callum. Gosh, I'm such a cliche, aren't I? Sleeping with the boss. Oh, uh, well, whatever. So you guys like each other, so what? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway. I gotta admit something else to you, Luigi. <laughs> I wasn't just being polite by inviting you in. I feel... Kind of weird being here by myself. Oh god, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. I knew it! You're gonna ritually sacrifice me for the pizza yards. All the spaghetti. This is where you tell me there are dead bodies hanging from hooks in the cellar, isn't it? How did you know about the cellar? Oh lord, here we go! No, stop. Calm down, calm down. All I know is there's a door in the cellar that's always locked and the keys I got don't fit it. Classic. Okay, stop. You're freaking me out. Okay, sorry. What's with the cellar? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. Man, I am nursing this thing. I asked about it before, but Callum just says, Oh, don't worry. There's just junk in there. No need to clean it. Sex dungeon, maybe? Seems to be the most likely option, right? Logically, though, dead wife stuff. Maybe he keeps his wife's things in there? Could be. I didn't ask. If so, he shouldn't muffle it all the way in there. Yeah, too many bad feelings creates a bad atmosphere. Hey, don't say creepy things like that. I ain't being creepy. I am I do that when I'm on the job, not when I'm off the job. Anyways, he's often somber after he comes out of there, I've noticed. So maybe that's it then. Mystery solved. It's probably a sex dungeon. Thanks. I feel a little better now. You want me to check it out? My sister does terror readings, so our family is naturally in tune with paranormal. You're welcome to try. Just don't break anything, okay? Come on, the cellar's over here. Are you saying I get free? Oh, okay. You're just dragging me along. It's down there to the right. I get free reign over Mr. Callum South. Woo! Say, so that's a garage door, right? Sweet man cave he's got here. I guess so. I mean... A lot of exercise equipment, nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Does he use all this equipment? I still don't think it's a door she got. Locked, of course. Let's see, it doesn't seem so strange besides the ominous humming. What is that noise, though? Some kind of boiler back there? It kind of hurts my head listening to it. Mr. Callum should get that fixed. Door feels very cold, though. Hmm. I can see why this basement might spook a girl home alone, but... So could you divine anything? I don't know. Let me check Mr. Callum, the bedroom door. What kind of purple light do you got, Mr. Callum? You got a fuckload of closets, my dude. One metric ass load of closets. 
bathroom. Nice, 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 nice. I feel like I've practically been in here. Hmm. No, not really. Well, which is it? No or not really? I mean, it's a creepy ass hallway back there for sure, but that just might be because it's dark. There's no way to know for sure without the key, but I don't hear any screams or smell any blood or rotting flesh, so I'm cautiously optimistic that it isn't a murder room. Yeah, I'm probably imagining things. What's that other door down there? Around the corner? That's the indoor pool. There's an indoor pool? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Anyways, thanks for keeping me company. I'm gonna get started on that spaghetti now. You want another drink? Delivery 11. Oh, whatever then. <laughs> Excuse me? Rosalinda? Mr. Callum, your pizza and wine. Everything all right? Not really, but it's fine. It's fine. Just a disagreement. Anyway, thanks. Here. Uh, Mr. Callum, are you okay? Hmm. Well... Can I come in, Mr. Callum? I snuck in. Doesn't even know on. As he walks over his table. Like a goddamn sociopath. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here right now, but you know. Alright. Things seem fishy. Delivery 12. Pizza and beer, Mr. Callum. Are you depressed again? What the fuck was that? Why is he just standing there? Menacingly. Hello, Mr. Kell. Got your pizza? <laughs> Thanks. Is everything alright? Luigi, you're a good man. You've been a constant for me in turbulent times. I am beyond salvation, I think. But thank you for not giving up on me. What? <laughs> Good night, Luigi. Oh, Mr. Callum! He shut me out. Man, life hasn't been kind to this guy. I wonder what he meant, though. Salvation? Hmm. Only his car is here. I didn't see where he went. All right. Delivery 13. This is what it was like at the beginning of the game. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Callum. Are you home? It's taken a long time. Now we know the context behind all this. Is anyone even home? Both cars are here. But I mean, we kind of knew that because we know what happens now. We go inside and Rosalinda's like, get the fuck out of here. Bad idea, Luigi. You've crossed the line, Luigi. Hello? Luigi, I'm in the cellar. 
Thank God you're here. We have to get out of here. Come on. What's happening? Where's Callum? He invited me back here tonight to talk, but he was down there with that that thing. Please don't go down there. Come on. But I have a duty. I have to deliver to Mr. Callum. Fuck yes, let's split. Thank God, okay, come on. But what if I want to investigate? Mr. Callum, I got your pizza. What the fuck? What the hell, man? Luigi, you have to help me, please. Be brave, son. Is that, is that your wife? After she died, she wouldn't leave. At first it was just her voice, then this black ichor grew in this room. Now she wants me to bring her a body so she can live again. Rosalind. Oh my god. I tried to resist it, I swear, but she has me in her grasp. I can't let her down. Who is... Oh no, she's seen you. Look, if you want some middle-aged Italian dude named Luigi who delivers pizza for a living as your second body in life, you better think real hard about that. Callum, listen to me. She's gone. She's like a frickin' well-done calzone. She can never come back the way she was. There's no way you could do. There's, <laughs> there was nothing you could do. But there is one thing you can do. Don't let your guilt corrupt your mind. Listen, the pizzazz, the deep dish. You can be free of this. You just need to let her go. Be like the Stromboli. Let her go. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you, my love. I would do anything to have you back, and I almost did. But it would not be the same. Could not be. I can't do this anymore. I want to live. I want to survive. Please go. Let me go. Just like Uncle Tony's lasagna, she was at it, eh? Real quick. Well, look at this nice room you got now. You can make a whole, like, frickin' room out of that. You can make a little, like, wine cellar. You can, you can extend your man cave. You can, you can, uh, 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 you can, you can set up a game room. Somehow, you did the impossible. You stared terror in the eyes and kept your sanity. Callum was consumed by the grief over his dead wife and the fact that he never, that she never got to enjoy the house she built there on Holland Hill. But you managed to get him to let go of his late wife and with it, the abomination that had taken hold of the basement dissipated. But you never went back to that house after that. The memories haunt you to this day. Hmm. So I'm guessing there's multiple endings there, right? There has to be, based on the decisions you make. Oh, okay. E to quit is like no joke. E to quit. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. Uh. <laughs> that's going to be that. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, The House on Holland Hill. What a fun little experience. I liked it. Um. I was uh, anticipating the horror elements to be a bit more in my face, but that was great for what it was. Um, a short little experience that kind of, uh, it, it did its purpose. It, it was a spooky little narrative. What the fuck is wrong with my hair? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been your first episode of your first returning episode of Let's Sit Down With. I hope you enjoyed. There'll be many more Let's Sit Down With in the future. So just stay tuned and wait for those to come out. And as always, this has been your host, Espirito Guineo. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.